What's up everybody, all you sexy people there in YouTube land, Epic Pokemon TCG here. And today guys, I have another deck I'm going to be going over in today's deck. Of course, it's going to be Seismitoad Slurpuff. So, I already covered Seismitoad Garbodor, and since I still feel like Seismitoad is going to be a top contender, even with the release of Roaring Skies, I definitely had to cover it. And if there was a little bit of an addition here from Roaring Skies, another card I was wanting to put in here from Roaring Skies was of course Wally. Like one wall would be really cool just to get like an immediate slurp up out. But very quickly, I'm gonna go over the deck here, guys. So, Seismitoad, you guys know, Quakey Punch 30, Pokemon can't play any item cards. Grenade Hammer 130, and it does 30 to 2 your bench Pokemon. Uh, of course, Quakey Punch is gonna be the attack you're gonna be using the most. We're gonna partner it up today with Slurp Up here. As tasting, once during your turn before you attack, you may draw a card. If Slurp Up is your active Pokemon, you can draw an extra card. So if, if, if it's active after a, like a Seismitoad goes down or something like that, you can draw two cards. And what makes that really good is we're going to be playing two Floatstone. Uh, these are pretty much just going to be going on your Slurp Ups. Uh, we're going to be running a Jirachi just for consistency. And maybe you not you might need a specific supporter at like a certain time. So you can just go ahead and get that down. And uh, I love the Super Scoop Ups in here. Uh, I felt like three is really good in here. Uh, this is just a personal preference of mine. I really like Super Scoop Up and Seismitoad decks. So we're going to be playing three of those. And the new addition here is Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card, not item, you can find there, and put it in your hands. So you, you can get stadiums, you can get trainer, like item cards, and you can get supporters. So Trainer's Mail is definitely a really good card to put in here. Um, could be three. Um, you never know. Uh, if you guys want to try three, go for it. Uh, to make the deck a little more annoying, we got two enhanced hammers here, four crushing hammers, and we got two head ringer, uh, just to make the energy control a little more. And along with that, we do have team flare grunt, and we have one zero six. Uh, zero six really good for uh, mirror matches. If your opponent is hitting you with a seismic toad, you can get zero six off their DCE. Or if you're going against Garbodor or something like that, you can get rid of the tool. Zero six is a very flexible card that you can have in this deck. Uh, we're going to run three VS Seeker just to get some supporters back. One Lysander, just in case you want to bring up something your opponent might have on a bench. Uh, maybe stall a little more. And I forgot to mention, we do have Swirlix in this deck, but this one's not freaking voting. Uh, Frozen City, Keldeo, and Swirlix. Every single every single video, they just do not load. And we do run Trump Card. Uh, this is going to get back all these annoying cards that you know basically just make your opponent hate you. <laughs> uh, the Ace Back of Choice is Computer Search. Uh, it can get you anything out of the deck. We run two Verbank City Gym, could be three, but we do play the Trump card, so it's pretty good. Uh, three Muscle Band, just because of the fact that Quaking Punch is just doesn't put on enough damage. So you partner that up with Muscle Band, Verbank, and Laser. You're going to be doing 80 damage a turn, and your opponent's going to come back to you. Your damage output's going to be racking up pretty high. Only three in, just because, well, you're drawing a lot of cards, and that's the only room I can find for it. And four Sycamore, pretty self explanatory there. And we're going to run 4 DCE and 3 water. The reason I run 3 water is just because of the fact that, well, people play Headringer. And uh, I found that it really helps out. Also, if you're, if for some reason you are sitting there attaching water energies to a seismitoad on the bench and you want to clean up a game, uh, you could just grenade hammer. Grenade hammer with a muscle band, fur bank, and laser is 180. So it's a really late game cleanup attack. And I think. That's really it. Besides, we have three Ultra Ball just to search out all these Pokemon here. And I think that's it, guys. So I'm going to cut into a gameplay that I got. And I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you there. Alright, guys. We're going to be going against Sweeties here. And I actually had a few gameplays already recorded um, where I was just absolutely dominating. And then I got into a game where my opponent played Rough Seas and a Suicune, and I realized I forgot to put in Burbank. So we're going to have to do this again, and already we're going against Pumpkaboo here, so I'm guessing this will definitely be a Night March deck. And I'm just going to go and test that water energy there, just in case there is a Head Ringer. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and play down this Seismitoad here. Let's go ahead and Trainer's Mail. And it looks like I might have to just go with the Super Scoop Up. And that is going to be it. I'm going to give it to my opponent. Okay, so my opponent does flip tails. Alright, so pretty much my opponent is just going to probably play out all the battle compressors here early. And in, in which
Jirachi case. I'm gonna actually probably just Jirachi for the trump card and go about it like that. That's my plan anyway. We'll just have to see. My opponent is going to Ultra Ball. Probably for a Shaman. That's what I'm guessing. Or Zoltic. I've been seeing Shaman a lot in these Nightmarsh decks. It's not too bad. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. So my opponent still stays asleep, which is pretty unfortunate for him. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this for the Crushing Hammer. See if I can't hit that. And I don't. Uh... Let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to play down the Jirachi and I'm going to slow guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and just get the trump card, honestly. Well, let's actually just check our opponent's discard pile. The one has three Night Marchers in there. They're all Lampant. You know what? I feel like, yeah, let's, let's just go. Let's just put these Lampants back into the deck. Making it really just having having useless cards in there, honestly. Okay. Now, I do see a grass energy that does tell me my opponent plays Leafeon, so that's definitely something to worry about. I'm gonna go for a super scoop up here, and I do indeed get it, so I can put this Seismitoad back in my hand, get that water energy ready in case my opponent does top deck a Lysander and tries to bring up my Jirachi. Or we can just post on it, that works too, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to Quaking Punch here for 30 damage. And Poison will knock it out between turns. So I get my first prize of the game. It is a 0-6. Really good. So this depends on what my opponent top decks here. My opponent will promote the Mew. Let's see what my opponent does here. Yeah, I put my opponent in a pretty difficult position, I think. So my opponent would have came up and hit me for like a lot, I think, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and attach this water energy to my active. Well, let's attach it back here, just in case. So I'm going to Quaking Punch for 30 damage here. And, oop, keep hitting my uh, computer here. My opponent has two cards in his hand. Can't play Trainer, so... Battle Compressor is pretty useless. I'm in a pretty good position at this point. So my opponent will play the... Ooh, my opponent's going to click and punch me back. Okay. I can respect that. I guess that's what he did. Or not. Okay, so I'm going to play laser. What did my opponent use? I'm just going to go ahead and just get rid of this energy. And I'm going to go ahead and just Quaking Bunch again. Poison will make this process go a tad bit faster, I think. Let's see, fine energy come down. So what will my opponent use here? My opponent, I think, used Quaking Punch, which probably is a good idea. Yep, so my opponent did use the Quaking Punch. And there we go, there goes Mew EX. Pretty good there, so. Now my opponent is just left with this lone Joltic. My opponent's just gonna touch a psychic energy. And that is it. Be a good sport about it. Send a GG. And there we go, guys. So I'm gonna hop into another game right after this one, so don't worry, that's not gonna be the whole thing. It's sort of there's always one card in every video that just does not load. So we did get ten tokens here. Building up for episode two of Theme Deck Thursday. So if you guys want to go check out episode one of Theme Deck Thursday, it is already on my channel. And I'm looking towards the purchasing I'm gonna probably just suck it up and purchase the Articuno deck. <laughs> Do a video on that. Let's just see what we can do from this point here. Hopefully we have a pretty good game come up. I actually just threw this deck together and I was like, oh, I don't have Burbank in it. I won like two games pretty easily and 
Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the heads here. Beautiful with poison coin. So we're gonna go first. Gonna go this mad villain. So I'm gonna start off with the sword. Let's see what my opponent does here. <laughs> okay, so my opponent starts with a Jirachi. Uh. I never look at like what types they have in their deck. I never do that. Like, I just don't ever pay attention to it. So I don't know what I should do here. My opponent just has that Jirachi start, and I don't know if I should end him. I feel like that's problem. Like I don't want to Juniper this or stick him with this all the way. Honestly. That just that's getting rid of a lot of stuff, but uh, screw it. I should probably just end here, but it's whatever. Uh, man, I don't want to do this, but I don't really. this is how not to play Pokemon. Honestly, like I should have just end here. Like my opponent's probably thinking, like, what the heck, dude? And it didn't really get me too far here, honestly. Oh man, I should have end. Get rid of these two. Let's go and grab size but I, I probably got way too aggressive on that on the last play. That is indeed a Swirlix, ladies and gentlemen. I should end. I'm gonna kick myself about that this, this entire video. You see Ultra Ball discarding the Trevenant and the Slurpuff. So this is gonna be a very annoying game. So I'm not gonna get the Shaman. I'm just gonna play Shaman. Draw two. So it looks like we're going against Trevenant and Slurpuff. So my opponent is gonna laser my poor little Swirlix here. I will not load, honestly. I don't know what it is about like one specific card. Every video not loading. My opponent just passes the turn. And I'm okay. So I'm gonna bench this Seismitoad. Go for the super scoop up. And I miss, which is really unfortunate. So I'm gonna just go the Sycamore here. Grabbing myself a fresh hand of seven. And let's see, I'm gonna discard a water. I'm just grab this slurp up here. And we're gonna evolve into slurp up. Touch this here. I probably should have tasted my own cash, but it's whatever. And okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play the Hypnotoxic Laser on my opponent's Jirachi. And. Man. So I'm just gonna have to pass here. I think Trevenant hits a little little harder than Seismitoad does, so that's kind of kind of scary. Why don't you play Scoop Up Cyclone? Okay. So. Okay, I thought my opponent was just going to tackle Shane and then, like let me win the game. I was like, okay. So I was going to grab in with Stellar Guidance. I'm going to play the in. I've always been an extremely aggressive player. Just that's how I've always been. Okay, so my opponent plays down the Phantom, and I want to see at this point. Okay, so my opponent's gonna play the Muscle Band. My opponent's gonna probably gonna attack with the Shaman. Yeah, there we go. So, fortunately, we have the Float Stone in the hand, so that's that's good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and tasting the two cards. And let's play the trainer's mail. Oh, that sucks. Let's see. Let's 
So I was really hoping for a laser. Which really sucks. Okay, uh. Just retreat the side of the toad. And I guess let's. Okay, so since that freaking Trevenant's gonna be taking on all my trainers, I might as well just try to get them out of my hand now. Let's discard. These two, I guess. Okay, so we're down. Okay, so like two Swirlix are prized. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and just quake and punch for 50 damage. Unfortunately, we did not get the laser there. That's really unfortunate. Considering I've only gone through like one, I think. Yep. I think it's. Yeah, it's only used one. Okay. So there we see a DCE go down on this Phantom. My opponent's gonna play the trunk. Okay. <laughs> Plus, go play trump cards, so I guess it's okay. That's another reason why I don't mind getting really aggressive with decks like this, is because I do have the trump card. Which really sucks, because, like, I. Oh, man. So we see another. Yeah, we see another fancy. Oh, now I get it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and put this down here. And we are going to tasting for one. And another laser. Okay. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and click and punch for 50. So we get a prize. And we pull it. Oh my god, Dak. Okay, so my opponent's gonna play in. I cannot believe I got another slurp off from like two other Swirlix as a prize. Like, what kind of crap is that? Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, I don't even know what he got. Uh, it's been tasting. Four. Okay. Play Super Scoop up. Nope. Super Scoop up. Yay. Just in case. Just in case I do miss the laser. So I'm gonna drop you. I'm gonna star guidance. Okay, Professor Sycamore. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the Sycamore. Hopefully getting a laser here. And we do get it, which is good. Okay. Okay, so we even hit the poison. Okay. Or the sleep, excuse me. We're gonna go ahead and attach a DCE here to the seismitoid. We're gonna play the trainer's mail. To grab another laser just in case the next turn. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this VS Seeker. Grabbing a Professor Sycamore just in case my opponent does play the Phantom Wally combination. And I'm gonna keep the computer search and everything else. I don't feel like I need to play anything for the rest of this turn. So I'm just gonna play some punch, take the knockout. Hopefully I get a Swirlix off of this. And I do not. So we have a 50-50 shot of taking a Swirlix out of our next prize. <laughs> so opponent is going to evolve into Slurp up here, so now my opponent's going to be doing some tasting. Um, that sounded really inappropriate, but we're going to go ahead and play the Hypnotoxic Laser here on my opponent's Jirachi, missing the poison, which is really unfortunate. And I'm going to just go ahead and hold off on everything, and I'm just going to keep quaking punching my opponent. My opponent's Drachi will be at 60 damage here. Have to see what my opponent does. If my opponent cannot get this Drachi out of the active spot, yeah, I get, I get two prizes. So what do I get? There is a Swirlix. Right on. Right on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and bench this Swirlix here. And we're going to muscle band this. Sasmato, we're gonna do tasting. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these two ultra balls. And let's grab a laser. So I'm gonna play down laser. And I do hit the heads on sleep, which is good. And I'm gonna go ahead and just play Juniper. Or not Sycamore, excuse me. 
get rid of all that. And there's a trainer's mail. Get the head ringer. That's actually what I wanted. We're gonna head ringer the shaman. Play the float stone down on Swirlix. And let's go ahead and super scoop up. Okay, missed that one. I'm gonna try to pick up Jirachi again. And let's go ahead and Quaking Punch. And of course I'm gonna put my opponent at 80 damage. So again, if my opponent cannot get this Jira or Shaman out of the active spot, I will win this game. So we're just gonna have to see what my opponent can do here. My opponent will tasting, and ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. Alright guys, I'm going to see how long I've been recording here, so 17 minutes. Okay, that's going to be the video, if you guys want to see more, definitely feel free to let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys go check out some other content on my channel. And I'm going to have another deck profile for you guys soon, I love you all, thank you so much for watching, and stay classy, and this is Epic Pokemon TCG, signing out.